I'm literally so tired. My eyes are so dry because I didn't even get that much sleep. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nisha and for today's video we are going to be doing a vlog. We are going to be going on so many errands today because I literally leave for my new school in a few days. So I literally leave in like nine days. So it's coming up pretty quickly. I haven't even started packing yet and I have so much anxiety. Like last night I slept at 5 30 close to six o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep because I was just having so much anxiety about paying tuition, getting everything ready and I'm a little bit more nervous to go to this new school because you know I have to start over again and everything. If you guys haven't seen my previous video on what happened with me with my other med school i will leave it down below in the description box but today we have so many errands to go to so i thought i'd take you guys along with me first we're going to get my nails taken off because i can't have these when i'm at the new school i thought i would just get them taken off today and plus my thumb came off so i need to get these off because this is like bothering me if you guys know if you guys have one nail broken off it bothers you so we're going to go see my friend angelica and get my nails taken off then we're going to go to walmart shoppers and do a whole bunch of errands i feel like it's going to be fun because i love errand shopping like this and first we need to go grab star Starbucks because I am so tired like I woke up at 9 so I probably got like less than four hours of sleep so before we head off onto our little errand day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and let's get on with our day so this is my outfit for the day. I have on my jacket, I have some sweatpants and my Nikes. Because we are gonna be running errands, I'm dressed pretty casually. It is also raining outside too, so I definitely needed a hood. And it is kind of chilly, so I definitely had to go with my root sack winter jacket. So yeah, let's go ahead. Okay guys, it's literally raining, so I'm glad I wore my jacket. So I basically got a camo macchiato, of course, for me. And then I also got something for my nail tech as well because I literally love her and we used to work together. So I ended up getting her a fruit sugar cookie and a venti pistachio latte ice. I made sure to ask her what kind of drink she liked before I left my last appointment. And I'm gonna be late because my appointment's at 11.30 and it's 11.20. But I had to get her these drinks because it's my last time seeing her before I head off to school. And she's always done my nails so well because she did my nails here. So I had to get her a little something to say thank you because they do take their time with nail decks to make sure you got like beautiful stunning nails so I had to do that for her so let's go ahead and head to my appointment because I'm gonna be so late oh my gosh So I just finished from getting my nails removed from my friend It was actually really sad to see my nails gone because literally my nails look so bare now I guess it's like a good thing too But I literally couldn't have them while I was at school just because of like our clinicals and stuff that we do have to do So it's better that I do take them off. So yeah, I got that done I'm literally so tired. My eyes are so dry because I didn't even get that much sleep literally the only thing keeping me up right now is my coffee so after i finish my nails i definitely do have to go to the bank next and i also realized i forgot something at home that i need to get done today so i probably have to drive back home and get it so that way i'm able to get it done today because i literally don't want to come out after this i literally just want to get all my errands done after this one time if you know what i mean like i just hate coming like back and forth like as soon as i get something done i just want to get it done that same day today's just going to be packed with like so many appointments and everything i'm so ready to just like hop in my bed and sleep after this and plus it's raining too which kind of sucks and also guys i literally have so much anxiety going back to school it's like literally insane just because like all the responsibility and pressure of having to like pay tuition packing again i'm also gonna be living with a roommate too so i'm kind of nervous to see who i will be living with just in terms of like personality wise i just hope the person is like really nice down to earth i just hope that we're able to live together and that she is like he or she i don't even know if it's a guy or girl i just hope they are very clean you know because i'm very ocd about everything being clean like i don't like 
anything in the sink. I don't like anything on the floor. Like I literally need like a clean, clean place. Like back when I lived on Eva's, I always kept my place like really spotless because like it bothered me if something was out of place or if it was messy or if there were dishes in the sink. So I literally had to get that done. So I just hope that the person I'm living with is good. Like I hope they're good to me. So I'm very nervous about that. And just like flying in general again. Cause I literally leave in a few days. Like time goes by so quickly. Like I can't believe I leave next week. I didn't realize how quickly time was gonna go by and I haven't even started packing yet. And I also need new suitcases as well. We're also gonna get new suitcases because I travel back and forth so much between like Canada, the States and the Caribbean that all my suitcases, like some of the wheels and the zippers literally broke off. So I definitely need new suitcases to travel with because I cannot deal with like broken wheels or anything. We need new luggages. So I'm just gonna finish up my coffee and I think I'm probably going to head home first because I forgot my lottery tickets and today they're drawing for Lotto Mac and it's 60 million. So I'm gonna get my tickets because I wanna play today. And I also need the address of the luggage place because I forgot to take a picture of it last night. I told myself to take a picture of it and I forgot. So I'm gonna go home and take a picture of that. We're gonna head back out again. So yeah, I'll see you guys back on the road. Okay guys, now we are at the bank. I decided to come to the bank first and just get this tuition paid off because we were still missing some money when we sent a wire transfer, which is kind of annoying. So I decided just to come here first because it was closer and then head home. Okay guys, so I literally visited two different branches of the bank that I go to and I'm just so annoyed because every single bank that I went to, I was trying to book an appointment to like open up a new account or whatever. Every single branch was just like their appointments, like they have no appointments and the only appointment they can give me is probably in February. I think the earliest they said was February 2nd and I'm just like, I'm gonna be gone way before then. I was just really annoyed because I'm like, every time I walk into a branch, there are so many advisors just like walking around, not even in appointments and they'd be walking around for like a good hour or so. And I'm just thinking to myself, how are you guys booked for appointments when there's like so many people just walking around and i know there, there are different people that have different jobs but i know the ones that are the advisors that actually do open the accounts and stuff i just see them walking around and i'm just like how do you not have appointments you know it's just so annoying so now i just have to do it over the phone and i honestly hate doing that i prefer to like be in person and talk to that person as well because like just doing it over telephone i'm just not comfortable with but i literally have no choice i have to get this account open before i leave i guess i just have to do that then i just wish i knew sooner that i had to do this because I was told the last time I went which was like a few days ago that I was able to do this and now that I know I can't do it because there's no appointments I love it I love it so now I need to go fill up gas because I only have 64 kilometers left and I hate filling up gas when it's raining but I have no choice because I have to drive to Mississauga again and then I just have like a lot left to do and 64 kilometers is not gonna last me and because I have to take the highway I literally don't want to risk it you know I got my lottery ticket I got my lottery tickets. Let's hope I win the 60 million. Lotto max is 60 million. And I'm just like, if I can just spend like an extra like 10, $20 playing the lottery and I win the 60 million, it works out and I'll be out of student debt, like a ton of student debt. So yeah, let's go fill up gas and let's head into Mississauga. I think I'm gonna go. Oh my God, I forgot to take a picture of the address again. Oh my God. There's this luggage place that sells luggages really cheap. And I went back home because I need to get my lottery tickets and to take a picture of the address. I forgot to take a picture of the address again. Great. Wow. Good job, Nisha. Good job. So let's go back home, get the address, fill up gas, and it's already 2.48. So I really gotta get going because I have to head to square one, two, and to Walmart and shoppers and get all my shopping done today. Oh my God. I'm gonna need another coffee. Hey guys, so we're here finally at the luggage garage. So I didn't know they had a website. So the reason why I need to go home and get the address is because I got a piece of paper in the mail that's saying they had an outlet for luggage. So I'm like, okay, let me go here. But I didn't take in what the place was called. I didn't know if they had a website or not because I literally didn't even know what to search for like luggage. It's so generic. So I got the address. It was a little further than I thought it would be. Like it's in Meadowvale, which is very far from me because I'm in Brampton, if you guys are from the GTA. And I didn't fill up gas. I thought I would be smart and wait until after six or seven to save some money when the gas prices drop. Yeah, no, I only have 26 kilometers left and I had 60 when I left my house. We'll see if we can make it till later for me to wait for the prices to drop to save some money on gas. We'll see, but hopefully, fingers crossed, they have luggages here for me. I'm probably gonna get about three or four luggages just to take with me because I do have you at home. I think I have like maybe three good ones I can use and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be bringing. I definitely don't wanna bring a lot. We'll see if they have any luggages that can you know hold as many stuff as I can and save so many fingers crossed so let's go on in so as you guys can still see it is very foggy so it's the perfect time to come out and do errands right so this is the place let's hope we have some luggages guys this place is 
is huge. There's so much luggage in here. Like, it's huge. Okay, guys, so I ended up getting my luggage. So I got these three. There's also one at the back there, too. I ended up getting the green. I wanted to get it in red because one of my other suitcases back home is pink. So I wanted to get, like, matching sets. And I didn't want to get black because when you go through the baggage claim, it's so much easier to see colored bags, especially when you're carrying multiple bags. So I ended up getting the green color, which is not that bad. I really like olive. So I ended up getting these, which wasn't bad. I got these two for 60 and then the hard shell one, the guy gave it to me for like 110, which is pretty good. So I could put like a lot of stuff in there. So hopefully when we go home and pack, it works out better. Like, I'm just glad we got those suitcases out of the way. Now we're going to go to square one, get my shoes and everything. Oh my God, my hair is like a mess from the rain. And yeah, let's get going. I couldn't make it to wait till tonight to fill up gas, so I am filling up gas at 146. That's expensive. That's literally expensive, and I literally only have 19 kilometers left. Like, I don't think I would have made it, especially because there's a lot of traffic because it is rush hour. It's 410. I literally need to fill up gas, so I literally couldn't wait because I don't want to be stuck in the middle of the highway with my car stop with all this fog. Like, literally, there's so much fog. Like, I don't know why I picked today to come around errands, but I thought today would be a good day. But it's literally crazy, and the traffic's insane because literally, like, the fog is so so dense and this is mississauga too imagine in brampton it's gonna be like horrid i'm gonna fill up gas this is probably gonna cost me an arm and a leg probably like 90 to 100 i drive an suv so it takes up a lot of gas and this is only for regular gas and it's 146 <sighs> gas is so expensive guys like i'm thankful to have a car but it's really expensive to fill up gas I literally paid hundred dollars so let's see how much it takes it ended up taking about 91 dollars of gas which is good here at this location apparently you have to prepay before going in so i prepaid hundred dollars just because my tank was so empty so I paid 91 which is still expensive usually i pay around like between like 65 to 80 dollars for gas but it's okay as long as i have gas in my car i'm still thankful i'm grateful to have gas in my car now we are about 10 minutes away from square one so we're gonna head out there finish our errands and then yeah Okay guys, we're here at score one. As you guys can see, it is so foggy. You can't even see the Maryland Monroe Towers in the back. Look how foggy it is. Oh my God, and I parked on the top too because this is like the quickest way to get into the mall. Let's go get my shoes. Let's go to Suko Shamart. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Two. I'm just gonna get these two. Actually, I think I'm gonna get a mochi because I've never tried them and I love to snack. So I might pick one. I think I might go with the matcha. Yeah, I'm gonna get these two. Guys, that shopping trip was pretty successful. I was able to go to Suko Shamart and I got like some noodles. I got mochi. I'm really excited to try. I got the matcha one, which was recommended by one of the employees. And then I also went to this place. This is a new place actually in Square One. It's called Urban Kova. And I got the Realicious Pink Drink, which is apparently like a strawberry drink. It's so cool. And I absolutely love the cup. This is definitely reusable. So I really like that. I believe this was $6.99, which is not bad for this drink considering that this cup is reusable. And it comes with like this cool lid like i don't know if you guys can see it yeah i highly doubt you guys can see it, but it comes with this lid that you can kind of pop off and i'm just so excited to try i'm so thirsty because i didn't eat all day this is what it looks like it is so cute i'm excited to try i think it's just like a strawberry smoothie that's good this place i'm guessing just opened because the guy was literally standing outside saying do you want to look at our menu and stuff i was just like let me come around let me finish my shopping i'll come back and usually when i say that i keep my word because i know like how the employees kind of like put themselves out there like that it's so good it's literally not too sweet and it tastes like strawberries absolutely love it this is literally just what i needed so now i completely forgot we had to go to bed bath and beyond because i need to pick up some new bed sheets because in my new place i'm gonna be having a queen size bed instead of a full size which i'm very thankful for so i'm just gonna go get some new linen sheets that are pretty thin enough for like the weather there but they're still going to be pretty good and last me a long time then we're going to go to walmart and then shoppers hey guys so now we are in bed back and beyond i love coming in here because there's like so much stuff yeah i'm just here to pick up bed sheets i already picked up a bin 
Yeah, I thought I could use this to film. Yeah, I don't know why I picked up a bin, but you pick up random stuff when you're here. So, okay, perfect. We found the bed sheets. And usually these are the ones that I get. I like them because they are cool and crisp, and especially when sleeping at night. I feel like it's a lot better, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Oh my gosh, my hair's so messed up in the wind. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing any queen at all. Like, literally, all I see are kings. And I actually wanted these ones. Literally, everything here is like a king or a twin, and they're all deep covers. I love that. So this is the only thing I found in a queen and it is from Ugg but I honestly don't think I'll get it because it's 129 and it's also really heavy too. Okay so Bed Bath & Beyond was honestly a bust because they didn't have any queen bed sheets that I was looking for. I was looking for the Cool & Crisp collection because that's the one I bought for Mavis but they only had twin and king. I don't even think they had any full. That was a bust. I'm going to see if any other location has it online. I'll just order it online and just pick it up in store because I doubt if I ship it it will come in time. So now we're just going to head to Walmart and basically that place has everything that i need so we're just gonna go there pick up what we need hopefully we find everything in one go it's already 6 16 so i'm hoping to be home by at least 7 30 or 8 like literally today was like a whole day full of errands and now it's starting to rain let's head over to walmart okay guys so we're here at shoppers and i'm literally only here to pick up like one thing to pick up this guys this is so good for your face i absolutely love this i'm gonna pick up two of these i'm also gonna pick up a smaller one as well to take in my carry-on too so yeah i'm gonna take these three that's all literally all i came here for So now we are at Walmart. I literally need to go back to my car to get change for the cards because I don't bring change with me. Okay, first off, we need to pick vitamins. I literally made a list of my phone with that's from going alpha. So I'm just picking up vitamins. So these are the ones that I usually use and has 60. So I'm probably going to take two or three. I also think I'm going to pick up these protein bars as well. So I'm going to pick up one of these to bring just in case. And I'm going to pick up an Advil as well. You never know when you need one. I also need eye drops, so I'm gonna take this one, and then I'm gonna take this one and my eyes get really dry. Now into the beauty section. So I basically need like five of these to bring, just in case. I also need lashes as well, but it's locked now, and I literally need these three, the Naked, the Demi Wispies, and the Wispies. So I'm literally waiting forever for someone to come with the key to open it. So in the meantime, while someone comes to open the door for the lashes, I'm just gonna pick up some liners. So I'm gonna pick up two of these cause they're $10. Then I'm gonna, uh, pick up. I also need baby wipes. So I'm just gonna pick up two of these. I'm also gonna bring some soap as well just in case I don't go grocery shopping first. It is three for nine, so I'm just gonna pick up three. Okay guys, after 15 minutes of waiting, I finally got them. So I picked up the Wispies, the Demi Wispies, and the Naked Lash. I'm really excited to try these. Need two of these. I'm picking up this one, and this one. Also picking up this, and this. So I'm gonna pick this up because I've never tried it. So I'm gonna go with this one. So I don't see anywhere that they have the Olay ones that I usually use. So I'm just gonna go with these two and bring them with me. Always gotta take from the back. I'm also currently out of body wash right now, so I'm gonna take this and use this at home. Honestly, anything that's hydrating or smells like vanilla, mint, eucalyptus, anything floral, I absolutely love it. As long as it's hydrating and it just makes my skin feeling good, I absolutely love it. I also need toothpaste and I love the Crest 3D White. I love it in the Arctic Fresh. I'm just gonna take this value pack and this should be good. I also need a toothbrush right now, so I'm just gonna go with this one. I also need a mouthwash and it's for $7.
because I didn't sleep, my eyes are literally burning. Oh my god, they're like literally burning. And one thing I love about coming to Walmart later is it's empty. I don't have to deal with people pushing carts against me or like crowded areas. It's like literally dead quiet. So I definitely need to bring one of these to do laundry. Okay, I definitely need to bring a garbage bag just in case. Actually, you know what? This might be too heavy for my suitcase, so I think I'm just gonna go with the smaller one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the smaller one because this is a lot lighter. Okay, I already have some bug spray left over from last year, and here I just need one of the slipper cloths. Just because I hate when there's dust lying everywhere. I currently also need one of these for my car right now. I'm going to take a Dawn. I'm gonna take the smaller size just because as per usual, it's easier to travel with. I also need to take these for the bathroom and it's two for eight, so perfect. I also don't see that they have the Mr. Clean, like there's the refill, but they don't. It's all good because I got the Lysol at home. This is actually a lot of stuff. Okay, the last thing on my list is to get one of these Keurigs. I'm like, I need to have my coffee, and I had this one with me in Navis, but I ended up selling it because I didn't have room to bring it back. I don't see they have any here. They better have some in the back. Oh, wait, I found it. It was right here. Yes, there's finally one, and it's in black. I honestly don't mind black because the teal was cute, but honestly, I'll take the black. The black is cute. I love black. Okay, guys, I think I'm done getting everything. Thankfully, it's not as much stuff as I brought initially last time, but I think this is good for one suitcase. Okay, I'm so happy I was able to get everything on my list. Majority of the stuff I still had at home from when I was back in Davis. So I didn't need that much stuff this time. I think I got everything that I needed to get. I also have an air fryer at home that I bought on Amazon that I didn't take with me to the island last year. So I'm good, so let's head on to Gash. Okay guys, we finished our haul at Walmart. Now to head to the car. Okay guys, that is everything. I got all my stuff from Walmart, got the rest of the stuff in the back seat, and I got all my suitcases. Now it's time to get some dinner, yay. And of course, I had to get some dinner. Okay, and then we have one last stop, and it is Sephora. That's my last stop. It's literally almost nine o'clock, and they're literally about to close. I never do this, like, oh my gosh. Literally, this is all I needed. Okay, guys, we're finally done for the night. Okay guys, so that is it for my entire errands for today. It is literally 8.47 and we literally took the entire day to do all my errands. We went to the bank, we went grocery shopping. We did like a whole bunch of stuff today. We even got to try some new smoothies and everything. I got dinner at Scatterbush right over here, mainly because I didn't eat anything for the entire day except like maybe a cookie and that's about it. So it's about time for me to go home, unpack all this stuff in my car because it is late and it is raining. I'm so excited to go home. My eyes are like literally stinging because I'm assuming they're so dry. Oh my gosh, I'm literally tearing up because they're so dry. So I want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me to run my errands. I hope you guys saw all the things I needed to prep and get everything ready for in order for me to go to my new school for next week. I definitely have a lot of packing to to do for this entire week so i definitely have to get that done but i'm so glad i was able to get this done today all i have to do is just get my bed sheets and then i basically have everything so i hope you guys did enjoy that video as always if you love watching my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notification give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys